people except for the people who ain't good. And what's up to you too? And we can we you know if you bad peoples, we still let you watch the show. We still let you watch the show. We we don't discriminate if you good peoples or if you bad peoples. As long as you watching the show and you supporting the show and you giving the show reviews and stuff, then that's fine. That's except you shouldn't be doing the bad things you be doing. Don't do that. Yeah, I, you, I, I'd see you. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you know what you did. You know what you did. Anyway, we coming at you, semi this I've talking about the uh, recent Wrestle Circus show that they did live that they streamed on the internet. Uh, it was called Dive Dive Hard with a Vengeance, and I keep saying Die Hard. It's I I want to say Die Hard because it's so close, and they did that intentionally because it's like a play on words. But it's Dive Hard. Uh, and yes, I may or may not have made a dive joke on Twitter during the show. Possibly it may have happened. Some people laughed. It, it happened. It did. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to jump into this show. And DJ is so excited because he watched the entire thing. He did. Yeah, the entire half thing. Which is more than I thought because I, I thought it was probably about three matches on the show. Well, I mean, it was like a five-hour show, so like, I mean, when you watch a wrestling circus show, you get your money's worth. Except it, it by the time you, you when 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 you get to that fourth hour, you like, oh god. But but it it was free though, so like like how much money did I get back? I think they was talking about like when you actually go to the show, like you know when you car, pay missions, you know. Yeah, they pay the emissions. We didn't pay the emissions, you know. So yeah, but anyway, uh, we don't. We start off with a tag team championship match. The big top tag team championships. We got Rapungi Vice going in there and they challenging the Gorillas of Destiny. Um, I, I definitely like this match to uh, start off the show. Uh, to Awesome tag teams, um, both uh, with a lot of experience over in Japan. Um, uh, they also mentioned during this match that both of them, um, they said originally were currently uh, the IWGP Junior Tag Team Champions and IWGP Heavyweight Ch- Tag Team Champions, but I think... Uh, I think the Girls of Destiny lost the titles or whatever, something like that. But anyway, um, definitely a good match. Uh, good match to kind of start off the show. Um, the uh, Girls of Destiny do unfortunately lose the titles. I was sad. I was sad. I was. Uh, but Rapungi Vice uh, are your new uh big top tag team champions. Um, definitely a good match though. Um. DJ, any thoughts on on the on the opening uh, grapples, the, the opening tag you know, grapples? The- I I definitely like this match. It was a good match. Um, I, I enjoyed it. It was very like fast paced, but it was also hard hitting at the same time. Um, like I said, I didn't really like a lot of the times this show was on, and I was watching it, but other times it was on. And I wasn't watching it. I was just listening. So, you know, th- this match, I-, I definitely liked it. I actually watched this while I was in a restaurant. So that was fun. Um, and I kind of watched bits and pieces of it because at times I had to turn it off to, like, you know, go to the bathroom and stuff. So, you know, I mean, no, you know, I, c- I could have took it with me, you know. I, I think I-, I need the selfie stick, though, you know, to actually take it with me, you know, the-, the selfie stick. And then I connect the selfie stick to, like, my shirt or something so I ain't got to hold it so I can use the bathroom, still watch it. And then- anyway. Um, good match though. I, I liked it. I was excited to see your punky bites. I, I I like them a lot, and I haven't watched Ring of Honor in um let's just say a long time. So I, I don't get to see your punky bites, even though I think they're more New Japan, but still, um, I don't get to see them as much as I used to, and I, and I still I still like them a lot. So I was excited, and they won. So that was exciting too, and as they deserve because they're the best. He 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 ain't seen 
he ain't seen New Japan in even longer. So that's, no, I actually uh, watched New Japan like about a month ago. <laughs> that was like a day after you watched Ring of Honor. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, next we got Scorpio Sky going up against uh, this this new young fella, uh, Brody. Um, definitely, I-, I was impressed by the. Uh, by Brody, the uh, newcomer to Wrestle Circus. I, I think the last show they had, he was uh, not officially on the card, but he made his debut. Um, but definitely a good match. I I guess originally this was supposed to be Scorpio Sky versus Jeff Cobb. Um, but I guess I think Jeff Cobb uh, is injured, so they had to change the card, unfortunately. Um, I kind of wanted – I would rather have seen – Scorpio Sky faced Jeff Cobb. Um, but this was definitely a good match. Uh, Brody, he a big fella. He, he, he a big fella. But Scorpio Sky gets the win. Uh, DJ. You know, man, you know, uh, I, I got so many words to say about this match I do. Um, first off, you know, we, we had the ring. It was set up. It was. Um, it, it was set up like, you know, you know, your typical ring. You know, you had three ropes on four sides and, also, you know, you had the four-sided ring, you know, the traditional four-sided ring. You also had turnbuckles. You had three of them on each of the four corners. And I tell you, man, th- just the ring setup by itself was was amazing for this match. And then, you know, th- we get to the competitors. We had Scorpio Sky. Scorpio Sky. This man. This man. I mean, he, you, you know, he's got to be a Scorpio, obviously. And he's got to be from the skies. Like that's I mean that that's all I can say about him. Then you got Brody King, you know the king, a big Brody, you know, and 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 you know, good match. I liked it. You know they did some grappling, they did some diving, obviously. Um, there was some this is awesome chance, you know. Um, and, and you know it it was a good match. And Scorpio Sky won, and and you know what, I enjoyed it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, now, how many turnbuckles were there uh, in this in this match? You know, there were at least twelve. Probably oh. a couple underneath the ring, you know, just in case one get broke. <laughs> you know, you you're probably right. You're probably right. Uh, you know, why? How come they never bring that out during hardcore matches? True. How come, you know, if it's under there, you know why? Why don't you hit somebody? You remember, uh, who was it? Bram used to use the, the little turnbuckle hook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, then we got the Lady of the Ring Championship match. Lady, sorry, Lady of the Ring Mia Yim uh, versus Rachel Ellering. Um, this match was intense right from the beginning. I, I liked it, you know. And yes, uh, Mia, aka Jade, you know, she had the pants <laughs> that DJ and I are so fond of. You know, she she had the pants. She did. She oh, she had the pants. Um, but uh, you know, to this point in the show, this definitely I, I thought was match of the night. To this point, uh, it was awesome. Um. Rachel Ellering does uh, retain her title uh, and still is your Lady of the Ring champion. Um, after the match, Lance Hoyt uh, come uh, kind of interviews her, asks her, you know, who she, she's been undefeated since she won the title. Uh, I guess she's the first uh, Lady of the Ring champion. She says, you know, who or he asks her who he who she would like to, you know, challenge or face for the, you know, uh, for the title um and she kind of jokingly says oscar because obviously she is um currently signed with wwe uh, and nxt uh but she talks about how she loves you know wrestling for wrestle circus and all that um also i don't know if you get this but i feel like lance hoyt i love him on commentary but he like <laughs> Half the time I hate him and I'm like, dude, shut up. And then the other half of the time he's cr- constantly cracking me up. Um, he, he's just I, I I like him, but sometimes he's a little too much for me. But um, any thoughts on the the match or, or the pants or, or the? Um, 
you know, the pants, they, 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 you know, they was the pants as usual. Um, but uh, I officially want Rachel Ellering's name to be changed to Rachel Ellering in WWE now. Uh, I'm just saying. Um, but I, I definitely liked the match. It was a good match. I didn't get to get a chance to watch all of it. Um, I mean, I watched the beginning and I watched the end and I watched like a little bit of the middle. So, I mean, I practically watched all. I mean, I got the whole gist of it. Um, but it, it was a good match. I, for some reason, I thought it was shorter than I expected. I don't know if you felt like it was shorter than you expected, but maybe it was because the ending just came really quickly for me. I don't know if I walked away and it was over. Well, I, I, I didn't walk away and it was over, but I walked away and like it was like soon to be over. Uh, but it was a good match, though. I, I definitely liked it. I was excited to see Maya Yim um, again because I hadn't seen, seen her in a while. And I, I also like, and I love this about independent companies, I love that they kind of mention where you've been, you know, you've been in TNA, you've been in WWE, whatever. Like, I like that they mention that, at least on commentary. Just because it kind of, it just adds to like who the wrestler is. I feel like, um, so it was a good match. I liked it. Yeah, I I would agree. I would have to agree. Uh, then we get a mixed tag match. Uh, first off, we had Adam Cole, baby, and Britt Baker, baby. I mean, it kind of works a little bit, you know. It, it it's better with that and Cole, to be honest. But uh, versus Sammy Callahan and Jessica Havoc, um, I love this match. Um, you know, first off, it was just an awesome tag team match. Um, and a you know a, a, an intergender tag team match. You know where you know guys can actually face women and women can face the men. It's not just you know women, women, men, men. Um, which is one thing I really do like about independence. Um, you know, you, you see matches like that. And we saw a couple matches like that tonight with, or on this show, which was awesome. Um, also, these are two uh, real-life couples, which is kind of cool. Um, but I, I love Adam Cole. <laughs> All this, But I love Adam Cole calling for a sucker punch on Sammy <laughs> before he even does it. And obviously it was blocked because, you know, he called it. You know, he was like, sucker punch. And, you know, if, if you're going to call it that loud and just be like, I'm going to do a sucker punch, you know, he's going to know. He's going to know you're going to try to do that, Adam, and then he's going to block it. So if you said it like a little quieter, you know, like if you just said it to the front row, be like, hey, I'm going to do a sucker punch. And then you did it. Maybe you might have got it. Um. But I, I just this was just an awesome match, you know. Um, I mean, even Jessica Havoc did a dive, and I was like, yeah, "Girl, get it, yeah." Um, but yeah, DJ thoughts on the match? Adam Cole and Britt Baker did win. Oh, I was definitely excited about this match. I didn't see much of this match. Um, well, I didn't see the beginning of this match. I saw the end of this match. I just didn't see the beginning of this match, and. Um, and so I was like, yep, gotta gotta watch it. Um but <laughs> I, I think the point I came in, and this might not even be like the middle, this might be the end. Um I came in when Adam Cole was doing the headlock as you know, in typical Adam Cole fashion. And uh <laughs> Brittany Baker did the <laughs> the typical Adam Cole like wind up type of a type of a run back and forth on the ropes and then uh like gave him a kiss and I thought that was funny. That was freaking hilarious. Um I was excited to see Sammy Callahan. At first, I couldn't tell it was him because his hair looked like it was shorter or at least different. Um, but I was also excited to see Jessica Havoc again because it's been a long time. It's been a minute. Um, but it was a good match, though. I enjoyed it. Yeah. And then we got the uh, really confusing match. We had a three falls open scramble match for the DD Pro Iron Man. The Russell Circus Sideshow and the Pro Wrestling Revolver Open Scramble Championships. Um, so the first fall would be for the DD Pro Iron Man Championship. The second fall would be for the Wrestle Circus Sideshow Championship. And the third fall would be for the Pro Wrestling Revolver Open Cha Open Scramble Championship. Um, I I really liked the idea of this match, you know, that it was a three fall match 
for three titles and each, you know, fall was for a separate title. So, you know, Joey Ryan came in as uh, cha- uh, all three champions. So basically, you know, three different people could go out with, you know, three different championships or, you know, one person can go out with all three. Uh, one person come out, could go out with two. You know, I, I kind of, I just like the idea of this match. Um, and I wish, you know, other companies would do stuff like this. You know, innovative. Be innovative. But uh, we got the champion, Joey Ryan, going in against Delilah Doom, Tessa Blanchard, Jason Cade, uh, Christy James, Jake Christ, Dave Christ, Laura James, Cody uh, Cody Lane, I think it was, uh, Alley Cat, Jordan Lennox, Stone Cold Leva Bates <laughs> <laughs> and Space Monkey. Um, this was a crazy, just everywhere match. Uh, the winner of the first fall and your new DDT Pro Ironman champion was Laura Janes with a uh, U Porn Plex on Joey Ryan because uh, she's just stronger than him. She is. She just, her. Her uh, ne- nether regions is stronger than his penis read. There's children on watching this show. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, sure. Ask what that is. Um, somehow in the midst of this match, a dance-off broke out, uh, followed by a Stone Cold Leva Stunner party, uh, which j- there was a lot of dancing in this show, which is awesome. Um, the winner of the second fall, and new Wrestle Circus Sideshow Champion Tessa Blanchard. Um, I was definitely pumped uh, for the suicide dive party uh, that they had. There was so many parties and dances, and it, it, was, it was a good show. It was a good show. Um, then he was suicide. He was somewhere in the show. He was, and I was confused. Um, what was I, he? By the way, was he in ladder match? No, I, I'm gonna have to look. He was somewhere. I he, I think he was in the show before this because they showed the end of the. Ah, uh, uh, um, I see. They showed the end of the Midnight After Mania show that we were supposed to review, and they never sent us the link. Remember that? That was supposed to. Anyway, um, <laughs> then we had probably the longest. Uh, Penis plex, you porn plex thing we, we've ever seen. Like literally, everyone in this match was involved in this, and just it was. I I was in it. I think like I was flipped over to. It was it was crazy, um, but winner of the third fall and new pro wrestling revolver open scramble champion Jordan Lennox. Um, just this was a crazy just all over the place match and there was dancing and there was super kicks and there was stone cold stunners and there was suicide dives and there was penises and <laughs> anyway, um, DJ thoughts on the, the craziness. Um, did yeah, you watch it? I, I watched some of it. I, I, I saw the, um, I saw the dance off. I did. Um, I saw some of the dives LOL. Um, and I saw the only thing I saw in this match. That's crazy. Uh, I heard a lot of the the winners. Like I heard when Tessa Blanchard won, and I looked over and I was like, "What? Tessa Blanchard?" Um, <laughs> and I think I heard when Lord James won too. Uh, I think it's funny that they all pinned Joey Ryan. I don't I don't know if they had to pin Joey Ryan, but I think it's funny that they all just happened to. <laughs> um, I thought that I thought that was ironic, but I'm sure this was a good match. I want to go back and watch it just to kind of like see how crazy it was. But I do remember <laughs> looking over at my phone and seeing a dance off, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> you know, you go to a wrestling match and a dance off breaks out. It's it's the craziest thing. <laughs> also, Next- I think it's I like that Laura James pinned Joey Ryan. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. If y'all don't know, they uh they they engaged or married. I don't remember if they got married, but I think they're married. I know they were engaged, but yeah, they got married in twenty sixteen. Okay, 
Yeah. So so they married. So you know we we know who to, who is the pants or the championships in that relationship. Well, now we know. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then we got uh, the carnival cash in ladder match. Uh, we had Mister Four Fifty versus Deswing Xavier versus Leo Rush versus Shane Strickland. Um, I just have to say, uh, Shane Strickland's uh, music comes on at my work, and it makes me happy. I just, I need, I just, it, it comes on, and I'm like, yeah, and I, I don't dance at work. Right. I try, I don't. Sometimes I, I dance at work when it comes on. It's a good, it's a good song. You know, you got to He dances to it. You got to Anyway, um. I, I definitely like this match. Um, I, I like that this match kind of started out with all four men dancing uh, and limboing under the ladder, which is it's probably not a good thing. It's not. Don't don't do it. You know, even if you're not superstitious, like it's just not. Why are you doing that? Like why? Um, Shane Strickland tries to use this as a distraction to try and sneak up the ladder to get the briefcase. Um, I'm pretty sure Wrestle Circus legitimately just bought a replica Money in the Bank briefcase and covered the logo because it looks <laughs> exactly like the briefcase from Money in the Bank. I'm just saying. I, um, <laughs> but uh, uh, all four men uh, went around uh, in a circle doing chops and slapping each other, which was awesome. Um I was waiting for that ladder to snap under the weight of any of the four guys at one point um, because it's not like WWE where, you know, they have these special ladders that are supposed to be used in wrestling matches that, you know, hold the weight. Nah, they go to Home Depot and get painter's ladders (laughs) and they climb up the wrong side, you know, the sign that you're not supposed to climb up. (laughs) That, that this is specific. You you ain't supposed to climb up that side. That's not the side you supposed you supposed to go on the other side. Anyway, um, <laughs> but definitely a great match. Uh, Shane Strickland did win uh, and became the Carnival Mister Carnival Cashin. I I guess I don't know what the yeah, but uh, awesome match. I love all four of these guys. I especially. Uh, I love Mr. 450. I, I definitely want to see more of his stuff. Um, I've seen a little bit of his matches here and there, but um, I definitely like him. Uh, DJ? Yeah. I I noticed that Leo Rush was in this match, and I was excited. Um, I watched like the first little bit of this match, and then I missed kind of the rest of it. Because um, I think this was around about the time either my phone was going dead, and I couldn't have it on my phone or I was really into putting my bed up at the time. So it was a good match though. I, I actually saw, I, I didn't even get to see the latter portions of this match. I didn't at all. Like I saw like the very beginning and that was pretty much it for this match. Oh, uh, but it was a good match though. You know, Shane Strickland, he came out here and he, he, he took that opportunity. He ran with it. He did. And and now he, he'd have missed the, whatever you just said in, in the bank winner. Yeah, pretty pretty much. Uh, <laughs> then we get John Morrison, aka Johnny Mundo, aka Johnny Nitro, aka Boone the Bounty Hunter, aka this man has like sixteen different names. Like you need to stop, John. Just stop it. Stop it. Knock it off. Versus Luchasaurus. Uh, Luchasaurus also wrestles in Lucha Underground, which explains a lot that he is a wrestling dinosaur man thing. Uh, but he's also basically uh, the the guy who portrays Luchasaurus is uh, Judas Devlin, uh, an independent wrestler who actually, and I don't know if DJ knows this because DJ. He he, a fan of the Big Brothers, uh, the, the the television programs. Uh, he was on season seventeen uh, of the Big Brothers, 
So, uh, so that's, that's, that's a fun fact right there. Uh, yeah. But uh, I, I was actually very impressed by uh, this Luchasaurus fella. Uh, I'm going to have to check him out on the Lucha Underground. But uh, there was a choke slam Spanish fly with John Morrison on the top rope by Luchasaurus, which was amazing. What? Um, Sorry. I, Just, I, 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 that's what I said. I was like, how you do that? I looked up the Luchasaurus, and I'm very excited now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, 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 um, DJ missed um all of John Morrison's ass in this in this match. <laughs> we we saw a lot of it, um, more than I'm comfortable with. Um, also during this match, uh, Mister Four Fifty actually retweeted us, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if DJ saw that. He did. He retweeted us because I tweeted and mentioned him, and he retweeted us. And so I, I I wrote that down in the notes so I remember to say it. So, you know, when he watches this video, because, you know, he's going to watch this video, he's going to do it. He he probably not going to do it. Um, but uh, Morrison did a nice cartwheel elbow drop from the top rope, a.k.a. the new Hail to the King. Uh, cause I mean, I don't know about you. I, I never seen Jay Lethal do a cartwheel elbow drop off the top. Of, I'm just saying, I'm just saying he ain't did that. So this is the new hail to the king. Just saying, uh, Luchasaurus did a Canadian destroyer and immediately became my favorite dinosaur based wrestler of all time. <laughs> well, I'm sure that maybe like. Okay, he's my only favorite uh, dinosaur-based wrestler of all time, but he, he got to the top real quick with that Canadian Destroyer. Um, John Morrison does get the win, uh, not surprised. But uh, DJ, any thoughts on the Duchasauruses or the John Morrison booty or the, <laughs> Reef or the Canadian Destroyer or the Hair to the King or the, yeah. I'm so upset that I missed this match. Um, cause the Luchasaurus was probably like one of my favorite guys from, uh, Big Brother. Um, and, and it was obviously because he's a wrestler. Like he, he used to be in NXT. Um, so when he was like giving his backstory or whatever, I was like, yep, this guy's going to win. He didn't, but, uh, <laughs> still cheered for him. I did. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, 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 I love this guy. Um, I, I, I love, I love him so much. The Jewish Devlin. Or Austin M M Mateos and Luchasaurus, whatever we're calling him, love this man. I'm going back to watch this match at some point in time. It's going to happen. Goodbye. I, I don't think you want to see all of that John Morrison ass, though. I, I, I'll, uh, they, they'll cover it up. You know, it's PT, right? No, they, they won't. And, and it was one of those things where he gets his, his pants pulled down and he doesn't pull them up for like <laughs> a long time. It, it was it was awkward, um. But then Jervis Cottonbelly comes out, you know. Um, Jervis, you know, he gets asked, you know, about being. I get it. <laughs> I get it. He gets he, he gets asked. Uh, not, I get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> a question is proposed to him. <laughs> uh, being attacked last week. Last month uh after his match by a bunch of ruffians they they used those words ruffians gentlemen so he ruffians would, would he would he also you know refer to them as scoundrels he I, I believe that he would i do believe he would uh before he can say much uh, another group of ruffians and scoundrels come out and savagely attack him it uh it's just i, I what Security ain't even come out. No, nobody come out help him. You know, until they done attacking him and then help him. And it's like, bro, like he he a nice guy. I met him. I met him. I did. I met him. I did at WrestleCon. I was there and I met him. He's a nice guy. He a good fella. Why are you attacking him? You ruffian. You you scoundrels. You scallywags. Why? Why you be? Why you attacking him? Why? DJ, any thoughts on that? While I compose myself 
from the vicious attack. Um, you're gonna have to compose yourself real quick because I, I missed it. Also, <laughs> real, <laughs> real quick, uh, wasn't there an intermission that was like three years long? It was. <laughs> <laughs> like I think I saw. I thought the uh, for some reason I thought I think it was a scramble match or it was the ladder match. I thought it was the main event for some reason, and I think when they took the intermission, I think I got confused and and I thought that was the end of the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, it, that, that was a long intermission. I was like, is, is it come back? Like, <laughs> um, but anyway, we have Zachary Wentz versus Matt Seidel, another match that DJ missed. Um, I, I, I like, um, and this is kind of a video I wanted to do on the channel. We might still do it. Um, uh, they mentioned how... Uh, you know, the issues that YouTube has been having with wrestling content recently with their changes in policy and them not seeing um, wrestling as family friendly. So they're not, you know, they're not, you know, they're not letting these independent promotions do live streams on YouTube anymore. And they're not, you know, sending um, uh, basically, uh, YouTube channels, wrestling channels that actually make money, unfortunately we don't, so it doesn't affect us as much, but they're not getting all the, that ad revenue because uh, YouTube does not see wrestling as family friendly anymore, so all the advertisers are not being put on those videos anymore. Um, it's just kind of a video that I kind of wanted to talk about because in a way it does kind of affect us just because just wrestling vet videos in general aren't getting the views that they used to because YouTube isn't pushing them because again, they they don't see them as family friendly, even though wrestling is family. Anyway, um, they did mention that and they kind of talked about how Twitch is kind of taking over that and kind of supporting independent wrestling, which I kind of like. Um, I hope that more independent promotions maybe make some sort of deal with Twitch to do, you know, um, uh, live streams and stuff like that. Cause that would be kind of cool. Um, just another way to use Twitch. Obviously people use Twitch for, you know, video game streaming and stuff like that. Um, and, and things like that. So, uh, it, it would be cool if more, you know, independent wrestling companies used it to kind of get their shows out there since YouTube is not, you know, uh, being very cooperative with them anymore. Um, and we on YouTube right now, but you know, we cool, we cool YouTube. <laughs> we cool. We Just, love you. We, 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 we love you. You see you at the family reunion. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I definitely like this match. Um, I don't know much about Zachary Wentz, but, uh, he definitely seemed unique fella. He uh, he uh, he was a unique fella. He uh, he he did some weird things in this match uh, and kind of threw off Matt Seidel. He was confused, um, but uh, obviously Matt Seidel is one of the best. But uh, Wentz definitely impressed me in this match. Um, I like how, at least in the storyline in this match, they talked about how. Zachary Wentz grew up being a big fan of Matt Seidel, um, which I kind of, I hope is actually true. I hope that's not something they just made up for this match. I, cause I, I feel like, you know, that could make you, you know, want to have an even better match with somebody that you kind of grew up idolizing, you know? Um, and I, and I think he did have a really good match, um, on this show. But uh, any thoughts, DJ, on the YouTubes or the Matt Seidel's or the Zachary of the Wentz? Um, again, another match I definitely want to check out. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely think it's kind of – I don't want to say too much on the, the YouTube because if we're going to do a video on it, yeah, I, I'd rather wait. But uh, I don't yeah. know. It's definitely you're unfortunate. Right. You're right. That's right. where I'll leave it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And so nothing about the Zachary or the or the Oh, um, you know, this match here, this match here, yeah. This match I mean Matt Sidell, you know, you know, you know, he he crisp. You know, you know, he's stiff. You know. Don't uh, be botching. I was gonna say, do he botching though? Do he do any botching? 
And, and then you got Zachary Wentz. You know, he he crisp. You know, he he's stiff. He's and, and I would say he don't be botching. Okay. 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 Uh-huh. And so so this you know this match right here you know it, it was good. I liked it. Yes. That's it. Okay. Okay. Then we had the Glory Pro Crown of Glory Championship match uh, from Glory Pro Wrestling. Uh, Michael Elgin, Big Mike versus Mario Reed. This match was definitely interesting. It was a, a student versus teacher championship match where the student was, in fact, the champion going into the match, which I thought was kind of unique. Um, also, Glory Pro being owned by Michael Elgin, so wouldn't that technically already make the title his? Because he owns the company, so he could just take it. Like He could just be like, that's mine. That's mine. He could just, I don't know. Maybe I just think it too much into that. I don't know. Um, but, uh, I definitely like this match (laughs) on the outside. Uh, Elgin challenges Reed to hit him, uh, to which Reed does, uh, and then Elgin just returns him and kills him. He just, he, he killed him. He killed him with a forearm and I, he was dead. He, he would, he was dead. He, he, he was dead. Uh, but winner and still. Your Glory Pro, uh, Crown of Glory champion, Myron Reed. Um, definitely uh, impressed by Myron Reed. Um, uh, Mike, Big Mike did good. You know, he did good training this young fella. He did. You know, he did. Uh, DJ, thoughts on your favorite rest of the Big Mike that you missed his match? You did. You missed it. You did. You know, you know, and that, that's the issue there is how I'm going to get my thoughts if I miss the match. But, I mean, you know, you know, it's one thing I got to say. Big Mike! You know, um, you know, Big, Big Mike! I, 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 I love this man. I do. Um, I, I had to check out this Glory Pro that, that you speak of. Is it on the Fight App? I'm about to go see. We might have something for the Friday Night Fight App review whenever we do it again. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. uh, I'm sure it was a good match because Big Mike was in it, and you know, Myron, you know, Reed. If he was trained by Big Mike, then obviously he's got to be pretty good. You, you know, I he he was all right. He was all right. You know, uh, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> moving on. Mike. We're moving on from Mike. Big, big, we got <laughs> Red Dragon. Versus the Lucha Brothers of Pentagon. I'm I'm still calling them Pentagon. I don't care. Uh, and Ray Phoenix. Uh, did, did this this right here? This right here was my main event. I, I I was like this this the main event for me right here right now. This this it this it. No, they don't have to have the title match after this one. This was it. Um, two of my favorite tag teams in the business. In this match, uh, which I loved, but at the same time, I, I was kind of upset just because I, I didn't know who I wanted to win. I was like, "Yeah, Red Dragon, yeah, Lucha Brothers, yeah, Red Dragon, yeah, Lucha Pentagon, yeah, Kyle O'Reilly, ooh, Bobby Fish, ooh, Ray Fiend. I didn't know what I was. It was it was bad. It's terrible. Um. I I I be telling all these promotions they can't be doing this to me. They can't do it. They can't put two peoples or four peoples that I like in a match. They can't do that. Stop it. Um, but between uh, the kicks and submission work of Red Dragon and the fast-paced lucha style of uh, Penta and Phoenix, this match was amazing. Um, and this was. Uh, Red Dragon's uh, debut in Wrestle Circus, which was kind of cool, um, and it was just kind of cool to see them again because I haven't uh, since they haven't been on Ring of Honor. I haven't really seen Red Dragon in a while, which kind of sucks. Um, I, I think they're both in uh, New Japan right now, but even New Japan, it, we don't see updated shows uh, until like months later because uh, LOL. Why would you show us recent shows? That would be it. DJ, thoughts on the match that you didn't watch because you be 
putting your bed together and stuff. You know, it was a nice bed. You know, I slept very well. I did slept very well. That's nice. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, th- this match here, it was a tag team match. You know, it, you know, Teddy Long will be proud. Um, I, 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 I'm upset that I missed this match. Isn't Phoenix also in Lucha Underground? He is. Yeah, he God. is. I didn't call him Ray Phoenix. That, that, that's weird. Anyway, um, and why they call this man Penta? Anyway, it's not his name. His name is Pentagon Jur. Anyway, um, you know they messing up the names, but I want to go back and watch this match too. So if so, if I can find this show, it's probably in like the previous shows and stuff. If I can find it, I'm gonna watch it and, and I'm gonna watch this match. It's gonna happen, and and I'm gonna come back to, to the review. Like I'm gonna rewind back and be like, you know, this match right here, bro. This match right here. Uh huh. Uh huh. So we're going to do a uh, part two of this review uh, where DJ actually watches all the, all the show, all the, all the matches. Uh, yeah. But uh, moving on, finally, to the main event of the evenings, we got the Wrestle Circus Ringmaster Championship up for grabs. We got Sammy Guevara, uh, uh, also known as Mr. Wrestle Circus, uh, Cause I guess he kind of good and stuff, but like he, I don't think he that good uh, personally, you know. But he going up against Brian Cage, trying to win the Ringmaster Championship that Brian Cage currently got. Cause Brian Cage, you know, he a machine. You know, he the he the Ringmaster. You know, uh, this definitely was a good match. Uh, I just think um, that this show was just so long. That at this point I was exhausted, uh, and th- this uh, I just I couldn't get into it because I was so tired. So I'm gonna have to go back and watch it again. But um, don't get me wrong, though this was a- an awesome uh, match, awesome show. Um, I just the, the the fact that it was five hours, and you know you think, oh wow, a five hour show of mostly wrestling and not you know video packages and that's awesome and then you get to like the four hour mark and you're like oh god please make it stop can can we can we do can we finish this tomorrow can, no okay um <laughs> but i don't know this, this was definitely a good match uh, there was a point in this match where it seemed like both of both of these guys kind of kept getting sloppier and sloppier. Um, I don't know if it was just fatigue or, you know, what it was, but I, I don't know. I just kind of threw me off uh, and got threw me even more out of the match. Um, but then uh, out of nowhere, RKO. I don't, no, it wasn't RKO. I don't know where. Uh, I don't know where uh, late in the match, uh, Shane Strickland comes out and cashes in his briefcase. Uh, making this a triple threat match. Uh, so, uh, winner and your new ringmaster champion, Shane Strickland. Um, kind of sucks for Sammy because he'd he be wanting that title. And then Shane come in, he like, aha, I'm going to take it. And he's like, nah, bro, why? Why you do that? Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely a uh, good. Good match. Um, uh, I'm 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 excited that uh, Shane Strickland is the new Ringmaster Champion. Uh, but uh, DJ, thoughts on another match you ain't watch? You know, um, you know, you know, the the ring was you know about the same. You know, during this uh this match here, you know, this main event as they call it, and you know, you know, it, the 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 ropes was still intact. You know, the 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 mat, you know, is still intact. It was. You know, you had the, the turnbuckles, you know, three on four sides, you know. Uh, it, Wow. You know, I mean, the setup was, was amazing. You know, Brian Cage, still huge, you know, still big fella. Uh, he needed to settle down just a little bit. He too big. Um, <laughs> but uh, I was kind of n- – no, I'll be, I didn't watch the match. I was still upset that Brian Cage didn't win because I like Brian Cage. Like, He's one of my favorite dudes, like, ever in life. This man, so, so big. Like he's so big, like you shouldn't be able to live being that big. It's ridiculous how big this man is, and he can like do dives and stuff, bruh. That's too much muscle to be doing all this diving, bruh. Anyway, um, 
you know, th- this might be a match I have to check out because my boy Brian Cage in it, and I'm a cheer for him, and, and I'm gonna act like he gonna win, even though he won't. But I'm act like he gonna win, and he might win. I don't think that's how that works. I, I don't think that they they gonna win after they already lost. You know, with this. Oh, uh, you know, they can change the result. You know, they, that's what they did with Carmella. You know, they, they changed it so. Why, why, why you gotta bring that up? You know, that's you know why. So she, she, that just gives her opportunity to win it to win it again and show that she she the real deal. She the real she, MVP. She she the, the the legit boss. That isn't Sasha Banks, you know. But anyway, uh, that was uh your Wrestle Circus Dive Hard with a Vengeance review. Uh, good, good show, good show. I definitely, I'm excited for for the for the next show. Uh, I, I think Cody Rhodes is supposed to be on the next show, which is exciting. Uh, Cody Rhodes, who is also your new Ring of Honor World Champion. Uh, good, good job, Cody. Good job. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Um, DJ probably didn't know that either, and I probably I, did. I heard it in the show at least. Oh, okay. Oh, you. Yeah. I saw it on. The, I saw it on the social media. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Justin told you, didn't he? You know, you know. I was actually watching the match in the middle of watching the match, and Justin told me, "Yep." Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's right. That's right. <laughs> but uh, we will be back. Uh, you know, we we still working on that. Uh, that CZ dub. Yeah, you know, we working. Yeah, we working on it. Yeah. That tournament of death, uh, you know that DJ, you know he he gonna get to it. He gonna he gonna get to it. Uh, he not afraid of nothing. That's not what it is. He, you know, maybe a little bit of them night too. He, you know, he he ain't he ain't a child that's afraid of, to watch the show. Nah, he uh he just you know he he getting pumped for it. You know, so we we yeah, you know, you gotta take a couple days, week to to you know get pumped. You know, and it, sometimes you just gotta take some time. You know. Yeah, but but I think but I think you know I known DJ long enough. I could tell that he about ready, you know. So we so we gonna have that pretty soon, you know. We we gonna have that soon, coming out soon. We real soon we gonna have it out for you, real soon. Uh, not not. You not, think it'll be soon? Yeah, I think it's gonna be real soon, like real soon. But uh, we we gonna be back with that. We got uh, uh new. Series in our six pack c- coming out. We're going through uh, a couple of the uh, eras in WWE, talking about our favorite wrestlers from different eras. We're going to start off with the Golden Era from uh, 1982 to 1993, uh, and then we're going to go through different eras. So that that should be fun. Um, I think that you know that helps us a lot when we do series like that, especially like when we did the WrestleMania one. Um, our favorite WrestleMania uh, matches that Justin showed up for like, no, that was the reviews and he only showed up. He ain't never show up for the six pack. So, sorry, my mistake, my mistake. But uh, we'll be back for that. Uh, as usual, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on the Twitter at ICW underscore podcast. It's up in the corner. It's right there. You see it. I see it. Your mama see it. Your grandmama see it. Uh, your uncle see it. Uh, you know, everybody see it. It's right up there. Uh, so follow us on the Twitter. Uh, we, we talk to you. We will. Uh, you know, and you can retweet us too. Like Mr. 450, he retweeted us. He did. He liked it. And he retweeted. So we basically, boys, we basically, we tight right now. You know, we tight. Uh, we we going to hang out this weekend. You know, it's, it's going to happen. Uh, like like the, the next weekend, not this weekend, because like this weekend already over. We can't hang out now. You know, it's too late for that. But uh, next weekend, we're going to hang out with him. Yeah, we are. Um, but uh, we will see you on the flippity-dippity. Flippity-dippity.